Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of fractions and decimals on a number line. This is standard 4.3G in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 16 off the Redesign Practice Online Start Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we are looking uh, for point P, best representing 1.09 units from zero. All right. So let's open up our graph draw feature, expand it out using those diagonal arrows, make it a little bit more transparent so I can see what's going on here. All right, let's click draw and we are ready to go. So I think first what's going to be important for us is to really look at the place value here. So 1.09. All right, so let's look at our place value. This is our ones place, right? This is our tenths place, THS, and this is our hundredths, THS. Now, nine hundredths. So we could also look at it like this. If we wanted to put it in fraction form, we could write a mixed number like this. One and nine hundredths. So it takes one hundred hundredths to get a whole, which means this one and nine hundredths is not even close to getting up to two. If I take these nine hundredths away, I'm back down at one. So if you were to imagine like between one and two, right? And if you were to imagine uh, 100 tiny little marks, so I'm not going to count, or I'm just going to pretend that I drew 100 marks. I didn't even get 100 marks, right? It's not going to be that far. Nine marks might be like this far. 50 marks, this is one and 50 hundredths or one and 50 hundredths. I mean, it takes a lot to get up to that 50 hundredths and this is only nine hundredths. So I'm thinking that our one and nine hundredths is not gonna be that far away from one because nine, if it takes a whole hundred to get to the next hole, nine is not that much out of 100. It's just not that far. So let's take a look to see, I'm thinking, I mean, switch it over to blue so you can kind of see. I'm guessing it'd be kind of like around here. So let's see what each of these might be. All right, well, A, A doesn't look horrible, except that it's on the wrong side of one. You see how it's really close to one? So that's good, but it's on the wrong side of one. It's not one point anything, right? So it's going to be zero point, and if we're going to call that zero point fifty, because that's halfway between zero and one, um, I mean, that's probably like maybe 91, right? I'm guessing for this right here. So it's really close. It's just on the wrong side of that one. All right, so at least this is on the, the correct side of one. But look what this, and this is what I, what I was expecting them to give us this wrong answer. Here's my one. Here's my 1.50 or my one and five tenths. So this one is really close to two, it's almost two. So this is 1.9 or one and nine tenths. You notice the difference, it's just a place value, but it's gonna really move it. So this one's incorrect because it's showing one and nine tenths. Nine tenths is almost 10 tenths, which is almost the next hole. And we want something closer to one, right? So look at C. So there we go, look how close it is to one. And that does look pretty good, right? Here's my 1.50. So yeah, this 1.09 makes a lot of sense right here. So I can see that C being 1.09. And then finally, we've got D. D actually makes sense for 0 0.09. So it's it doesn't have the correct whole number but it does look like a pretty good distance away from zero to hit that nine hundredths. It just needs to be one and nine hundredths. So my answer here is C.